Okay, we're here with Holly Rill from ESPN. Just a couple questions with you. Now talk about your connection with BYU, because you used to host True Blue, had, did a couple things with BYU. Well, I actually got my start in broadcasting here at BYU, doing BYU football games as a sideline reporter. So I really owe my career to BYU, and I'm so grateful for the start I got here. We started out with the Blue and White Sports Network, and people don't realize this, but back in the day, we had 63 affiliates around the country that would take BYU football programming because it was such a great national brand. So I feel like, you know, I've kind of come back to my roots, and it's really fun to be back here today. Now talk about what your role will be here now with ESPN at Media Day. What are you going to be doing? Well, we're going to be doing some interviews today. We'll do an interview with Bronco Mendenhall that we'll feed back for College Football Live and, and just try to, you know, give the publicity to BYU that they deserve. They're not participating in a conference media day like they normally would so we're trying to get that splash and now that we're a broadcasting partner with them as well you know we want to make sure they're well represented and talk about what BYU brings to ESPN what how does that brand help ESPN oh I think that's the key word it's a brand is BYU has had a huge following for many years is people have loved BYU football I actually used to be the affiliate relations coordinator so I would call up stations around the country and say hey do you have any interest in BYU football and you can't believe I mean we had stations in Fort Myers Florida New England Sports Network. I mean, we had stations in random places that loved BYU football. So I feel like, you know, going back 10, 20 years, this has been a brand nationally. And it's kind of like a little mini Notre Dame factor. As people around the country will watch BYU football, I think it's going to be a big success. Now, what's one of your favorite college football memories? Because you've covered some big games over the years. What's one of your favorite memories from co covering college football? Well, one of my best ever was I got to be the sideline reporter for the Rose Bowl when Vince Young ran it in, and I was standing right there like on the 10-yard line as he passed me to run it in for the winning score against USC in the national championship. And that game and everything that was built up to it, you know, the Heisman Trophy winners on the field and everything, that was probably my ultimate sports memory as, as far as a game that I was working. Okay. Last question, who's maybe one player from BYU that you maybe see as becoming maybe a star this year? Oh, gosh, that's a hard question because I think there's some unknowns. But you've got two guys on the offensive line. No one ever wants to talk about the offensive line because it's not the sexy position. Yeah. But I always think everything starts and ends with your offensive line. So to me, that's the position to watch. Two guys that are Outland Trophy candidates. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Matt Reynolds passing up the NFL is a big deal. And for me, I think the success of BYU is going to start up front with the offensive line. And, and he's a key guy that you've got to watch.